but we also learned the state has purchased five freezers for the vaccine because Pfizer's vaccine requires it to be kept at such low temperatures. Now, any successful vaccine trial requires a diversity in participants, and Avidroy Burnett is live with why that diversity is so important, especially in typically underrepresented communities. Avidroy. Well, hi, Mike. When it comes to vaccine trials and testing them out, there are many groups who are really doubtful about the process, especially because of a very painful history. But researchers are telling us that they've learned from past mistakes. People from all walks of life. It's all new to everyone. Have expressed hesitation about a COVID-19 vaccination. I wouldn't be first in line, but I would, I would just take it. Making sure that it's safety and not trying things out and then, you know, hit and miss. That's all I'm worried about. In the middle of the deadliest pandemic in a century, developers around the world are racing to find safe vaccines. And there's an urgent need for people in underrepresented groups like African Americans, people in the Latinx community, or older folks. To volunteer for trials. Safety is our number one priority. The University of Maryland School of Medicine has led the way for a global solution. Researchers stress that vaccine participants can trust that the trials are safe. We really want to enroll diverse populations because we want to make sure that the vaccines work in all people. Historically, people of color have been hesitant to participate in trials because researchers, sometimes with a backing from the U.S. government, have lied about the true motives. There have been a lot of horrible injustices in the past, and we, as a research community, have taken great strides to ensure that studies are conducted in the most ethical manner. MacArthur says times have changed, but building trust also takes time. Because they made it so quickly and uh, I would want to be sure that it was safe. And you know what researchers want for people to know that vaccine trials are still going on. If you would like to participate in one, especially at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, they have a link for you if you'd like to sign up. We'll add that link to our website at WJZ.com. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.